What's going on everybody? In this video, I want to give you some tips for dealing with Ken's Jinrai kick pressure and uh, how to deal with it specifically as Luke. You may be able to learn something from this if you don't play Luke, but this is mostly centered around him. So what you will often see is a Ken player doing uh, a normal into the medium version into the low follow-up. And as you can see, the low follow-up is only minus five. So if he spaces it decently, uh, you won't be able to punish it. There are, however, some situations where you may attempt punishing the low follow-up. So sometimes, uh, Ken players, they will do standing heavy punch into the heavy Jinrai kick into the low follow-up. And as you can see, if they don't space it that well, and it's pretty hard to space actually, you'll be able to punish, you'll be able to punish it with a standing leg kick. Um, but keep in mind that it's only if they do the heavy version. If they do the medium version, that's going to be much harder to, to punish. So if you hear him yell Jinrai, like that, that means he did the heavy version. Another situation where you will almost always get the punish, probably always, is when he does the target combo into the Jinrai kick, you'll be always able to punish this. So never let camp players get away with this. Now here's the most important tip though. So if you see a Ken player do the medium or the light version of the Jinrai kick, you can always punish him with uh, an EX or OD DP. So no matter if he does a follow up or not, if he does any of the follow ups, you'll always be able to punish this, as you can see. So every time you see Jinrai kick, not the heavy version though, don't do this when he does the heavy version. When he yells Jinrai, don't do the EX follow-up. But if he does any other version, you can always punish this. So that is a very, very big tip right there. So I hope this helped you. We'll see you in the next video.